Hey, sippers. I'm back with another video. How y'all doing out there? Today, we're going to be talking about Blueface Mother, Carlissa Staffold. Saffold, that's her name. Carlissa Saffold Harvey is her maiden name, okay? Um, Blueface, the rapper, mom, was born in August of 1972 in Grove City, Ohio, okay? She's been married three times, she said. Um, her first marriage was with um, Blueface dad, Jonathan Porter Sr., um, for five years, Her previous marriage is, she said, was her third marriage. And I couldn't find anything about a second marriage. Um, so, but anyhow, her previous marriage now is her third marriage. And she's been married to Sterling Saffold for seven years. Okay. Carlissa also has two other children, two older children. Um, Andre Harvey and Janice Miller. She also has some stepchildren from her current marriage. Okay, let's get into it. I have a better understanding of Carlissa now and her internet behavior after that interview with Jason Lee. It's always two sides to a story, y'all. And sometimes even more sides, okay? Depending on how many is involved. I'm going to speak on Carlissa first, and then we'll um, dive into her children, okay? The things her children has to say about her shows that they went through some kind of trauma um, with her. First, their fathers weren't really there or stayed around. Um, I think Blue and had his dad around more, and um, she don't know if um, her neighbor or her current boyfriend at the time is Andre's father. I think she needs to, to um, get into that instead of being on the internet as much and find out who his father is. He really needs it. Okay. Um, Janice, which is Callie. Dad kidnapped her for eight years, is what Carlissa said, allegedly, okay? Jonathan, Jonathan, dad was there, but not there. As far as financially, it was all on her. So I get the, um, being the sole provider and a woman with three kids, no dads participating, you got bills, let alone the financial need for kids, necessities, extra activities, feeding them, clothing them. Everything was on her, okay? It's most likely um, why she took the different roads she did to provide. Um, we've all made some mistakes um, being a parent and growing up. Um, and I think she probably made some um some big ones, because it played a big part in her children, okay? <clears throat> Excuse me. She mentioned needing help, okay? Needing a helpmate, because she had to work, and someone has to feed um, the kids amongst the other things that her children needed daily. Um, homework and putting them to bed. She spoke on that on the um, interview. Okay, let me, um, let me say what I have to say. I don't agree with that, okay? Because you have to be very careful with who you're leaving your kids in the care of, okay? And a boyfriend, me, I would never do, okay? If I can be honest with y'all, at one point I was a single parent to a daughter, and I've had boyfriends growing up, and they can tell you they first time laying eyes on my daughter, it was near a year, okay? Near a year. 
And they can also tell you they have never been left alone with her or they have never been left to watch her, okay? Not that I didn't trust them as my boyfriend, but I don't make guest stations with my child, okay? I don't make guest stations, meaning guessing or wondering if or not. You don't have to do that if you just don't do it, period. You can see on the news all day, every day, how these men are taking these children's lives, okay? That's a no-no. Now, let me say, I think Carlissa could have been a good actress, a great actress. Here's my tea with some shade. Got y'all cups? So were them damn tears real? Y'all, I think so. I believe she was hurt that her kids treated her like crap and talked very bad to the world about her. Hell, Blueface told Krishan to get her and she beat the shit out of her. I'm gonna say that. She beat her bad, okay? That lady was bleeding and everything. She couldn't whoop that young one. And, and she mentioned Blueface gonna say, well, I thought you had it. You would put somebody up to fight your mama. Tell me, I thought you had it because you always fighting and beating up people. Well, that time she didn't. So now you see, you don't do that. You don't do no shit like that. Against your mother. Talking about you thought she had it. Whether she had it or not, she should not be fighting your girlfriends or your, uh, All right, I'm going to leave that alone. Anyhow, <sighs> that was, that, anyway, let me just get off of that, okay? Listen, I mean, a, a girlfriend to your son, you can't bully, okay? Or hit her with objects and don't expect nothing in return, okay? So they wrong on both sides, the mama and the son, okay? And that's just that, point blank. She's wrong for hitting that girl and thinking she wasn't supposed to hit her back. She got a big ass surprise. The way she trolls her kids and their mates is silly as hell to me for a woman in her age, okay? But I think she believes, well, they didn't already uh talked about me like a damn dog and put all that out. And I do think it's some truths to some of the stuff they're saying. I do. She was young, finding her way to take care of them children. So she just shows her ass because she done figured out people like drama. She done figured that out. People like drama. And that gives her cl the clicks she needs for a check. Y'all, Carlissa is about that bag. Okay, y'all can see that if y'all watch her or know anything, she's about that bad. I think she got some sense. She has created a show with her with the help of her husband and her kids. She's done other things as well. And I do think she loves her grandchildren. It's a different love for grandchildren. I know I have two boys, two grandsons, okay? Um she took her crazy ass over to Krishan's house and camped on the grass in front of the gate to see Junior. Krishan's son. That her uh, narcissist son is not claiming. And he knows that baby is his. Now, listen, at first I was like, oh, she's there for camera time. And she did bring them cameras and thought she would be able to film it. 
But after Chris John told her no camera, she did respectfully turn them off. Now, not knowing that if Chris John was going to beat her ass again, she wanted to see that baby. She took the risk. Okay? She took the risk. I got some more tea with some shade. Y'all cups. Y'all, I'm sorry. But at first watching her and seeing her son's interviews, she put me in the mind of Corinne Steffens. Now let's talk about the other side, the kids. Andre is lost. And those years in prison made him feel disconnected from where I could see. Yeah, I, he feels disconnected. He feels lost. He feels like everything moved without him and feels like they're in better position than him. And they are. You spent 13 years, not 10, 13 in jail. From 15 to 29, that young man grew up in there. So he's out here not trying to find his way. They say it's hard to go back into society, especially if you're 15 and got out when you were 29. You basically grown into a man behind bars. He's hard on Carly Carlissa, witnessing the life she took him through as a young mother. Andre is talented too. He just needs to uh, keep pushing and his mark will come. And he also needs to forgive his mother and so if he forgives her, it can heal him and he can move on without the trauma and the pain of what he'd been through. He's frustrated with being at a standstill and seems like he's looking for them to do what, <clears throat> excuse me, Carlissa mentioned on Jason Lee. They were going to, you know, do this. Uh, Callie was going to do this. Blue was going to do this. And she was going to do that. So when he got out, they will have something made up for him. Okay? And maybe it didn't go like that. Um, it, like he expected or maybe expected more or something. I don't know. But he's highly pissed with her. Um, and it's it's got something to do with the raisin on how he, you know, what he went through with her. But like I said, he needs to forgive so he can heal his own heart and move on. Callie, Janice. Seems like Callie is just in the middle of her mom and her brothers. She probably has some um, reserved feelings. Um, living with her dad for eight years and his wife um, who mistreated her allegedly, okay? Um, at the same time, she agrees with Carlissa. Then others, then other times she joins Blue and Andre with the shits. Right now she's sampling her music, okay? Now we got this <clears throat> spoiled brat, Jonathan, blue face. Okay. He is spoiled rotten. You can tell. I was spoiled too. That's how I can identify with it. Okay. Um, but I grew up. You're an adult. You have to be an adult. Point blank. All right, Blue is the baby child, just like me. 
Um, and things got a little better around the time he was born. So his lifestyle um, growing up was a little different from Andre's and Callie's. Um, not saying that he didn't catch no bad times um, with Carlissa, because she spoke on some on the, on the interview. Andre spoke on that in his video, how things was better for Blue. <clears throat> and I believe it um, because <clears throat> she makes all kinds of excuses for Blueface, y'all. All kinds. Anytime somebody say something, well, you know, um, that's because Blue, see, this is, I, I know him. I know him. Yeah, you do know your kids, but once they leave that house and get out that door, you don't know what's going on. Okay? Anyhow, don't get off that. Can't tell nobody about their kids, okay? But Blueface is exactly what she put him into. Okay? And it seems, uh, it seems like Blueface is her favorite. Even other kids have said it. Now, that's bad when other kids can recognize it, Okay? Because you, you don't know how that make them feel, which is horrible for one kid to be treated better than the other. And you're both their mothers, all their mother, okay? That's just not right. I think she's dated a few to take care of her children, and he knows, and he became the same as his mom used to be, blue face, okay? She said she liked Jonathan have to be with somebody. And you wonder why Jonathan is like he is? Okay. I think Blueface is very intelligent, though. Very intelligent. He's good at every endeavor he venture in, okay? Boxing, um, football, he was great at. Um, even the pro players looks at his stats and highlights like, wow. Okay, he can build a brand and make it trend number one. Okay, y'all, let me say, I understand both sides. But what I don't understand is to put your family entire business into the world for fame. And Carlissa responding to the shit as tit for tat is the narcissist in her. Same narcissism she put into her sons, okay? I'm not sure if Callie is like that. I don't see much of her. Um, but Carlissa definitely do not like not being in control of her adult children, okay? That's my take on what's in the media today with that Jason Lee interview and Carlissa. If you liked this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, come back. Oh, and I got one thing I wanted to show you guys. My shirt. So I made it. Yes, I made it. I made this shirt. Anyhow... <clears throat> like I said, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, comment, share. And another thing, you know I got my three questions. <laughs> y'all thought I was getting out of here without my three questions. Let's go. Number one, what do y'all think about Calissa and her kids' drama on the internet? I know y'all got something to say about that. I know I should have some comments on this one. Number two. How long do y'all think it's going to be? Um, it's going to be this time um, for her and her kids to get back together and start back talking to each other. Number three, if you watched or didn't watch, go watch Jason Lee interview with Carlissa. You'll get a better understanding of her because I was like, this lady is sickening. 
the shit she do, the shit she say, is just sickening. It's ridiculous. I was like, oh, I can't watch her, cause it was it was getting me. It was it was running my blood pressure up. But if you watch that interview, you will get a better understanding of her, at least. Um. Yeah, you'll get a better understanding of her, her lifestyle, and how her kids has turned out to be what they are. Okay, and you will understand Blueface better too. Why he's such a narcissist, and do the things that he do. His mom's one, allegedly, okay? So listen, don't allow anyone to steal your joy. You guys have a great day and come back.